So in this video, we're going to talk about lip sync issues and the lag that I'm getting between my Logitech C920 and the Blue Yeti Nano microphone. Hey guys, if like me, you want to learn how to make a second income stream for affiliate marketing, then hit subscribe Yay! and the bell and you won't miss a thing. So since I started YouTube about two months ago, I've been trying to bootstrap everything. I've been trying to minimize what I spend and do it as kind of a lower budget as possible. The only thing I've really spent on so far is Filmora, which is a video editing software. Now, recently it's been my birthday and because my family are absolutely awesome, they, uh, they decided to treat me and buy me a new microphone because I was basically using the built-in microphone on my laptop, which was awful quality. And at times, it was really kind of annoying me. So this was like a, a little opportunity to get an upgrade. And like I say, the fact that they're awesome, they decided to treat me to this Blue Yeti Nano microphone. So I did a bit of research, looked at the different microphones that I could get. Now, because of the setup that I have, I kind of move around the house a little bit. So whether all the kids... Whatever room all the kids' toys are in and scattered around, I move into a different one and I try and basically uh, declutter and get away from their mess. I mean, you can see behind me, this is actually fairly organised, but the shelf full of Lego behind me, that's actually clean and tidy, so I don't mind that. Everyone likes a bit of Lego, so you can, uh, you can look at the Princess Castle as you listen to me waffling on. So my microphone came, and the quality is so much better than what I had before. I'm sure there's other things that I need to change on it, but no, the audio is absolutely miles better, and I was really pleased with it. But the problem came when I started then recording my videos. I'd record my video, I'd watch my video, and there's a split second delay. Now, I get this on the TV sometimes, and I'm, I'm no kind of audio expert or anything like that, but it really bugs me. You know, when someone's talking, the lips are moving, but the audio is just that fraction out. Um, so it's not a massive issue when it comes to editing. So in Filmora, what you can do, and I'll quickly show you actually, so in Filmora, what you can do if you've got any kind of audio lag is you, you kind of drag your video across this bottom bit here. And you see how you've got these little bars at the bottom. That's your audio. And then you've got your video above. And they're kind of uh, connected. So what you can do is you can right click on it and somewhere detach audio. And it creates these as like two separate kind of components then. So you can then, if it's just, if it's just fractionally out, you can kind of drag the audio bit slightly to one side, almost like nudge it along really so that it goes back in sync. It's basically the video's coming in at one point and then the audio's kicking in at another point. So we just move it over slightly. Now the problem with that is when it comes to your editing. So I tend to edit and put a few jump cuts in and mess around quite a bit. So if you do your video in just one take, that wouldn't really be an issue. It's just one quick fix. You've nudged it along, you're absolutely fine. But I go back and I cut and edit quite a bit. So now, if I do a cut, which is Control and B, I've got to see how it's just cut the video. So I've got to then cut the audio as well and then keep them in line, which isn't a massive deal. But when you're new to YouTube like me and you do a lot of editing because you basically just stumble your words, forget what you're saying and don't have a clue what's going on, uh, then it, it can add to your editing time. And it's more prone to error as well. So it's more prone to you dragging something a little bit out of line and, and making it worse. So I've kind of been looking for the last few days, trying to find a fix for that. In fact, I got up this morning at like six o'clock in the morning on a Sunday to try and see if there was a, if I could kind of blitz a load of videos because I'm doing this challenge at the moment where I'm doing 100 videos in 100 days and I'm a few videos behind at the moment. So I wanted to catch up this morning and I've basically spent two hours going through every forum post and every, every little snippet that I can find trying to fix this issue. So that's one workaround. If you use Filmora, you can detach your audio and just nudge it along a little bit. Now, weirdly, I get different set, I get different issues in different uh, recorders. So I like Filmora for editing, but I don't generally use it all the time for my actual recording because it's a little bit more, you've got to kind of bounce in and out of things. It's not quite as quick to change anything over. So if you want to record your screen, you've got to stop the recording completely and then start it again if you want to then record from your webcam. It's a little bit too much back and forth for my liking. So the program I was using was Logitech Capture. Now Logitech Capture, you'd think would be perfect because that's what, it's a Logitech webcam. So you'd think that'd be the, the, the perfect one. Now it's a really easy to use recorder. It's a big red button. It's got some basic settings in there. You've got a few options in terms of how you want your screen layout. So if you want your content on one side of the screen and you want your face on the other side. So it's actually a really good recorder and that's what I've been using all along and it's been fine. But when it comes to audio and video delays, these lip sync issues, this, it isn't granular enough. There isn't enough advanced settings to kind of correct that. So that's become kind of my recorder of choice to the worst one I've got. And you can download all the drivers you want for Logitech. It doesn't fix the issue. 
Now, a lot, I know a lot of people out there will be watching this and they probably use OBS. So OBS is a free application that you can get, which is a really good recorder as well. It's a bit fiddly to get used to. There's a, there's, there's, the settings are kind of all over the show, but it's a little bit more, um, you've got to play around and learn it a little bit. Um, but I've been testing that this morning. I can also fix it in that, although it is a workaround. So let's jump into that and I'll show you that as well. Now, what you'll see here is, because I'm already recording this in another application, it's not gonna let me use my video. So I'm just gonna show you just as a setting. So on the side here, you've got your, your mixer. So it's got all your different audios in there. I've disabled them top ones. I'm basically using the video capture device. So my video capture device is the Pro Webcam C920. And then at the bottom of that audio device, I've just set as the Yeti Nano. So basically my audio and visual are coming in through that. So if we go into the settings for that device, so you see here, it's this bottom one that we want, video capture device. Now see this sync offset milliseconds. If I change that to 250, maybe 300 milliseconds, it lines up perfectly. So what's basically happening is my video input is slower than my audio input. So at first I kind of thought, oh, I've got this microphone, it's really good, but it's causing me more problems. And when I've looked into it more, it's not, it's just highlighted an issue with the actual webcam. The webcam has got a delay on it of say 250, 300 milliseconds. And it seems to vary depending on what program you're in. But the good thing about OBS is that you can actually put the number in there. So I can type 250 into there. And that will kind of then sync it up and correct. But it is a bit of messing around and it is then having to get used to using OBS. Whereas like I say, the Logitech one is a lot easier to use, but it just doesn't fit what I need it to do. So if we add that 250 in there, it'll work a lot better with a lip sync. So let's try it. I've just gone into OBS now. I've disabled the Filmora recorder and I've just jumped straight into OBS. So let's just see if I can replicate these lip sync issues I get when I'm using a Logitech C920 and a Blue Yeti Nano microphone. But to be honest, from looking at other forum posts, the microphone isn't really the issue. I think a lot of USB microphones, you're gonna get this same problem. So we'll jump into here again. Now I'm assuming that what's outputting at the moment is okay, because I've already got that 250 millisecond delay in there. But let's change that down to zero. I think it works on the fly. So let's just see if this works. So when I'm talking now, can you see a delay? Uh, is my audio and my mouth kind of uh, delayed and out of sync and is it annoying? I mean, you, you might find this annoying anyway, but is it more annoying now? So let's have a look. We'll jump in again and we'll change it. Now just to exaggerate it, just to give you an idea of what I mean, let me just change it to a silly number, which will be out of sync. So that now should be well and truly out of sync. That shouldn't, that shouldn't line up whatsoever. And again, I'm going to add the 250 milliseconds back in. And does that, does that seem a little bit better? So you might have to play around, depending on what microphone you've got, what webcam you've got, you might have to play around. Now, I can't find a consistent answer to this. So I've, I've picked these suggestions up from forums, from other people. It seems that some people don't have any problems whatsoever. Some people only have problems with OBS. So I, I guess it's, I suppose it depends how many people actually use that logic actor because it's just such a simple way of just press record and record. That's why I quite liked it. It just seemed an easier way of doing things. There's less chance of missing anything. Filmora is brilliant and I really like Filmora for video editing. But when it comes to recording, what I tend to find, as soon as I press record on, on Filmora, my CPU on my laptop just goes kind of nuts. You can hear me. It's almost like I've then got to talk louder to talk over the fan noise coming from the laptop. So. It, it doesn't really help. OBS seems a little bit better, and I think I'm probably gonna stick with OBS from now on. I'm gonna use OBS, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in that little sync delay. So, I hope that helps. I just wanted to create a video based on this. It's got absolutely nothing to do with what I normally do. Like I say, I normally, I'm normally promoting like affiliate marketing and how to create blogs, and I suppose get started on YouTube as well, because that's what I'm doing. I'm a newbie on this journey. So, there must be someone else that'll come across this problem and get stuck with it, so I hope that helps. OBS is free. If you've got a Logitech um, webcam, Logic Apps is free, so try it. If it works on yours, you might actually like that. Uh, the alternative, like say, Filmora is pr probably the one that picks the settings up okay. So I've just been into Filmora and it recorded absolutely fine. So like I say, there's no consistency really. Some of the other things I've tried, because I've tested various things, and you can test these as well, uh, in case it works differently for your setup, because you, we've probably got completely different parts of this. We've probably got different PCs, laptops, uh, webcams, microphones, so you might need to test a few of these. But I've got in and I've disabled anything else that can use that webcam. So if you've got like Skype or anything installed, I've basically disabled anything that can get into that webcam and possibly use its resource. I've turned a lot of the automatic features off. So some of these webcams, you can set them so that they adjust the white balance and 
uh, focus and various different things. Anything that you think might make your webcam work that little bit harder where it's having to kind of do automatic things. I've disabled a few of them. Mo none of them made any difference. Like I say, I've now resorted to OBS and added in a manual delay or just using Filmora. Or actually, one other thing you could try is what quality do you need to output it at? So this is recorded in 1080p, but because I don't particularly have great lighting in this room, I'm by a window. If I open this, these blinds, too much light comes through. So you can probably see, look at my face now, I've got this side is kind of exposed. This side is probably just darkness. My alternative is I either get some proper lighting equipment or I turn the lights on in this room. But you'll see some, from some of my other videos, if I turn the lights on in this room, I've got about, how many have I got? I've got about 10 kind of spotlights and there's one right above my head. So all you get then is this bright white LED just kind of bouncing off my head and shadowing down. So I can't really win at the moment until, until I get a, probably like a ring light or something that can go in front of me and give me that kind of light. I'm not really getting full HD quality anyway. So I probably don't need to record at 1080p. I could probably scale that down. And I think for some people, scaling it down to say 720 or 360 in your settings, I think that also corrects it a little bit. Probably because the webcam's not having to do as much. Well, whatever it does, whatever magic webcams do, it'll be like encoding and decoding and that kind of thing. It, that might help as well. So use the settings that you actually need. Uh, and if not, try OBS, try putting that delay in. And like I say, just, just try to find a way around it. If I find anything else that works, I'll create another update video. Or I'll, I'll add it into the comments and I'll let you know. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.